This key strip was an opportunity to hit that mental reset button. Spending some time with the family just sitting back and relaxing did a lot of good for me. Being our first trip in the Keys having our own boat, there was a lot to learn. However, I was able to gather some beautiful film from this trip, so here's the highlights. I hope you guys enjoy. What's up? Jacob here. We are somewhat offshore. It's about 50 feet deep. We got the chum festering in the water right now, giving it 30 minutes before we cast. Target day is yellowtail and pretty much anything we can eat. We're trying to catch dinner today. If it goes well, um, might send it a little further offshore for a little bit of trolling. I'm with the family, so they'll have to okay that, but we're gonna get after it and see what we can get into. Got 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, a little crusher jig, some dead shrimp. Throw them back in that chum line, get some yellowtail. That's a good one. Yeah, it's 12. He's 14. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool though. They're literally eating the chum out of the bag. I am. He's not big. Dang it. He ate it so aggressively too. I think he might be the smallest one we've caught. same size. They fight so hard at the beginning. <laughs> it might be a little bigger, but not much. Oh! Oh, he pooped everywhere. All that poop and you're not even keeper size. Jerk. Oh, better one, better fish. Much better fish. Oh! That was a really big fish. Look the way he's yanking, probably. Oh, oh. Why did that seem so much bigger than it does now? Oh, he's dogging me now. I see him, he ain't big, that's for sure. I mean, legally he's a keeper. Ow! Sure. He's like right over 12. Hmm? I wasn't able to capture it all in film, but we did end up getting about 10 keepers. And we decided to move on because all of us were very hungry. Day two, we decided to travel to the Gulf side. Not really sure what we were gonna be targeting, but we got into some fun fish. We pulled up to the Content Keys and the Florida Keys. 
I'm gonna try to toss a little artificial lure to start the day. You probably, um, yeah. <laughs> I'll just trim it up just in case. I'm not gonna get any. Yeah. I got some. I got a Cuda following me. <laughs> Let's go around the guy. <laughs> it's a Cuda. Look at my bait. That Cuda messed me up. I don't know what I have. I think? No, it looks like a mutton or a grouper. I think it's a mutton. Heck yeah. Mutton on artificial. And he's a solid mutton too. I don't think so, no. Mutton have to be 18. Yeah, he's, he's pushing 16 though. That's a nice mutton. 15 and a half. Heck yeah, boy. He's dogging me. I think it might be a blue runner, a little one. It might be really good bait. What pounds do they say on them or ounces? I have some that are one eight. This is a blue runner. <laughs> they fight so hard. It's a nice size blue runner. Gotta be another blue runner. Yellow tail this time, but a small one. A little yellow tail. Big guy. All right, give me the magic. The bigger ones like that are a Spanish mackerel. Oh, what the? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't, don't grab that. Don't grab that. Just one of those smaller. On our way back in, we decided to stop by this little backwater canal system and see what might be hanging out in there. Oh, we swept that, you see him? There we go. <laughs> Let's go. It's so hard to keep tarping on with a little micro hook too. Or a treble hook. <laughs> I love tarpon. Little guy. Oh, just jumped on the boat. Beautiful little tarpioni. 
bleeding a little bit. And he's off. <laughs> well, there you have it. So that was a bit of the keys trip that I um, enjoyed these past couple weeks. I honestly spent a lot more time just enjoying my time there, hitting that mental reset button. I've been going through sort of a transition at the beginning of this summer, just trying to figure out why I want to invest my time in this summer and kind of came to the conclusion that I really want to invest in this YouTube channel and see what can happen with it. And I'm just honestly excited to see where it goes. I'm enjoying it so much. It's been awesome to support so far. I owe a lot of thank you to Lawson for just pushing me to where I am and just giving me the help I needed. I do have some more film from this trip that I might turn into a video. We caught some amazing fish. I didn't get them all on video, but I have a good amount of film that I can still make another video if I wanted to. So we will see what happens with that. I appreciate you guys so much for all the support once again. It honestly means so much. Um, this is something that I've just enjoyed for a long time and to see it actually becoming something and hopefully becoming a lot more is just really cool to see. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed what I was able to get film up on this trip where I was really honestly just relaxing. Um, it was cool to at least get some film for you guys so you can kind of walk on this journey with me as I'm um, one, becoming a better fisherman, becoming a better YouTuber, just becoming better at filming and that kind of stuff and just honestly enjoying my life. Something I don't talk about a ton on this channel because I don't want to just like throw it in everyone's faces, my mental health, and that is something that a few years ago I went through a lot and it was pretty rough with anxiety and depression and I will say this past year has been incredible. I took this test called GeneSight where they like run your genetics crossed with a bunch of the different antidepressants and it kind of showed that my body didn't react to a lot of them well. And so like the first five I was on really like destroyed my body and then I finally found one that has just like worked very well mixed with some counseling and therapy and I'm definitely doing a lot better. This YouTube thing honestly is sort of an escape for me where it's something that I just enjoy so much it kind of just keeps me in the moment, keeps me grounded where I am right now. And so being able to do this more and more has honestly been helping my mental health a ton. And in doing so I want to somehow figure out how to use this as a voice to help other people dealing with the same stuff. Once again, I appreciate you guys a ton. Stay tuned for the next video.